It is 6.07 on the 14th of April, and I am calling to order the Finance Committee. Is Okay. Oops. Are we on film? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yes. cool. Um, first uh, agenda item is the minutes from April 6th and April 7th. I make a motion that we approve both April 6th and April 7th meetings as on the Google Drive. Second. Any discussion? Any corrections? Anything? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, tonight's discussion is, to start off with, is the fuel account. Oh, this is the blue one, huh? Well, that's yeah, just, that's that's just a pretty graph. The whole package? Well, not quite. Uh, that, yeah. um, can I address the chair, please? Yes, you go right ahead. You don't need to worry about going through me. You feel free to talk to whoever you want. We'd like to probably discuss the energy, all the fossil fuels across the board. Um, we've seen massive increases in gasoline, diesel, um, number two fuel oil and propane. Um, well in excess of what we can rebound for and we're going to have shortages by the end of the fiscal. Um, we have concerns on two basic fronts. Turn One is on. obviously to make sure that we can pay the stuff by the end of the fiscal, but the budget that's been balanced and approved does not can accurately reflect the market increases that we're seeing currently. <laughs> the budget for next correct 23. It hasn't been approved yet, but it's potentially. Right. Been yes. Approved. Yes. Um, so the, sh the shortfall we have now is just going to be there, if not compounded again next year. So the shortfall that we have now, as I read your note, you yeah. said you, you think you might be able to address some of it, or that's really up to the, the town administrator. Yeah, you were making this suggestion. That we came some. up with two. We came up with two suggestions. Right. Um, we created uh, last year. We created a snow and ice line item for fuel. Yeah. Um, it was funded at five hundred dollars. That's just under a little bit under what you need for a storm. Mm -hmm. um, we had thirty storms, mm -hmm. so we don't fund anywhere near what we need for snow and ice fuel. So we could go back and charge snow and ice, but that's only going to increase your snow and ice deficit. Right. So we're not supposed to deficit spend accounts. That right. th that's part of the rules. The problem is the fuel. The town fuel account is already in the red, probably two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, we have a couple months left, and we're looking at maybe at the rate the cost for fuel, diesel, and gasoline is going up. We're looking at a thirty thousand dollar deficit. So, how much money would you be moving to um, uh, snow and ice for fuel? Well, you could move that all, and you still wouldn't have covered everything we spent during no, storms. No, I mean, I would ex I would expect you'd have to. <coughs> Uh, justify the amount that you move. In other words, if there's five hundred dollars, thirty storms. How many dollars per storm? We could come up with that number. Okay. We could co probably okay. cover all of the deficit that way. But the, you, that, frankly, that's a poor decision. Yeah. Because just because you can de deficit spend so nice, yeah. you either have to recover it through free cash yeah. or through the existing budget, yeah. or roll it over roll to next, year. next year. But you still have to address it. Right. Yeah. Um, um, Dan oh, said and that's the same with everything. Dan yeah. said it's not you. it's not advisable to roll it over into next year. Right. He said it hurts us more and we, and it's it's not a good idea to do. I did ask him that question. Right. So I just want to make sure everybody's aware. Before we go what? too crazy. Okay, but I just want to go back a step on what you said. So, but going back a step before you did put those things into another into the snow and ice account budget where they weren't. Two or three or four years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So you put so so okay. So then when that's in there now, and we knew that when you did the five hundred all and stuff, those numbers are low, but that allowed to have that money there to say, okay, we need more there, and there's no question about that. But that allowed us to have that, and so you could say that we deficit spend it. But like you, and I'm just I'm what I'm reiterating is what you just said. We've got to find the money someplace else because we don't have the money right. to fund all this stuff. We absolutely do not right. unless we go to town meeting and we either find it in free cash or we find it in in, in the uh, stabilization account. We just can't. It's not sitting there to, to just find it somewhere unless it's found in other budget line items. So. Most of the operating accounts, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. like uh, town fuel, 
electricity, the operating costs for the buildings. They've been level funded for three years. Right. I, there's no question it's been more about than that. that I think, but yeah. There's no <laughs> question about. Do you think we don't like it any more than you like so it? So the problem yeah. is the 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 costs have gone up so much. Absolutely. Um, but I wanted to backtrack and make sure everybody understood how we purchase fuel, especially diesel and gasoline, so there's no confusion. So we currently manipulate the statewide contract to buy diesel and gasoline, and. The state, be, so they put a bid out to vendors who provide gasoline, who, who would deliver it to you, okay, um, through five or six zones in the Commonwealth. And the state sets an index. Well, what they do is they, based on how much it is a barrel in Boston Harbor, that price gets set every day. Mm -hmm. um, what the contractors bid on is how much per gallon they're going to charge to deliver it to us. Yep. That number never changes. It's always like 0 0.2 or 0 0.2, based on that bid. Mm -hmm. But the price can change. Okay. The gasoline price changes. The price for distribution. So if, I, if it costs, if it, if in Boston it's two dollars a get uh, a gallon, that's the price that of the day, and they change it and update it every single day. Sure. If it's two dollars a gallon for gasoline, to deliver it to the town of Rutland, plus some taxes we're required to pay for by law, it's like two dollars, two point three two cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. we, that and. If on the next day it's four dollars a gallon, it's four point three two. <laughs> okay, it, it, that's how that works. Can you can you buy? Do you have to buy a certain amount, or can you buy any amount? No. Um, I mean, I'm not suggesting the fuel store, oil right? has limits. It's like eight thousand gallons for them to hold their price annually. Okay. Yeah. But not diesel and gasoline. Okay. And we buy enough that we're well within the threshold. But at the same time. Most cities and towns are manipulating that same contract, so the folks bidding on it have a massive volume. In theory, you get you take advantage of that to keep the cost down. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Now, this one, this contract, and the fuel oil have some options to negotiate a fixed cost, but historically we haven't <laughs> done that because it's more money. Well, until the price goes up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right now, this right time, now, right now, right. But over the past number of years, yes, it's been proven that people with those fixed price Correct. were paying slightly more than the people that let it go. The other. So way. if we're that nervous, we could consider that. Correct. I just have to call that out. I'm just trying. So yeah. does everyone understand how we buy gasoline? We yeah. buy gasoline off some uh, through the operational services division. They put out a contract every year, right? And sometimes they'll extend it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I just want to make sure, because there was some confusion. We don't have... So that's how we buy it. That's how we buy it. Just thinking about the future, there is an option that we could lock in. There is an option amount. we'd have to negotiate. But that's that same vendor. gamble that yep. a homeowner yep. takes, same right? Same gamble, right. right. But that's for fuel oil. Uh, that's for you heating oil, or is it also for fuel? You can do it for fuel as oh. well. But instinctually, I think it's going to cost you more money. Because yeah, right. they, you know, they're going to bet. They're going to bet on the same. It's not the Boston group. Correct. They're going to bet on the New York future. <coughs> that's true. And yeah. that's how you're going to lock in that cost. That's but true. there is a, My point is, there is a vehicle within the document that allows you to do that. Sure. That's all. I just want to make right. sure everybody. Or your it. other option is you, you can s structure your own request proposal and go right. on your own. You can go out for your own. Yep. I'm not. Well, I'm just saying. But yep. Absolutely. There's no question. There's a lot of work. Blah blah blah. But you've got you to consider all those things you just said and decide if that's the best way to do it. So right. Right. But I, we're, we've stuck with the state one because there's so much volume. Correct. Yep. And somebody's already watching the index and somebody's already babysitting all the factors you want to consider. Yeah. Um, back to fuel, we found out that the town hasn't been buying fuel off the statewide contract. But we checked all the prices and they're pretty close to the statewide contract. Years ago, the town put out their own heating oil contract and it had fallen in arrears so we we put we advertised one at a fixed cost for the last couple months of this season and no one bit which at least we honored our legal uh, you know responsibility and we stick with our current stuck with our current vendor okay. but come July 1 we're either going to have to go to the state contract possibly go with CMRPC which we also work with that group because in Massachusetts, when you, if you, if a city, if two or three cities and towns get together to put a contract out, you can take advantage of it. But what you can't do is do it 
after it's already out. So we signed up to be listed on the CMRPC stuff. So we, if they get a better price or a better vendor, we'll take advantage of it. Yeah. But that though that document reads just like this one. Yeah. Did I answer all your questions on how we buy fuel? Yeah. Propane's very similar. Yeah. We buy a lot of propane. I have some numbers, some rough numbers. What do we use propane for? This we building. This, this building. <laughs> this is one building. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that. Yep. Yeah. I should have realized that when we bought gas for the roof. Yeah, where would we get gas? Um, <laughs> the water treatment plant, 7,000 gallons, propane annually. Why do we have to heat that for? It's open seven days a week. Plus, you need the backup generator. Why? It, would it freeze? <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> you can throw something at me. It's acceptable. <laughs> propane, uh, the propane price index is the same, except propane's updated weekly, and they don't have like a fixed cost option. So, anyways, I just want to make sure everybody knew how we buy the gas and how we buy propane and how we're subject to market conditions. You know, and, and uh, this is <laughs> just this is the way it is. We're all in the same. I go going to the gas station. That I'm not negotiating with them. <laughs> um, I stick the gas in and I pay whatever the price is. So uh, this is part of living here now and what's going on. Sure. Unfortunately, we're in a situation where we're restricted as to how much money we have to be able to spend. So the question that I, I don't, I can't answer it. I don't know that the softman is going to be able to answer it. How the hell do we pay for this stuff? I mean, Karen made the point in the beginning. Uh, you're going to have to cut stuff to be able to get the money to do it. I, I, I know that, the, I mean, that's reality. The thing is, I hate doing that because we've already, last year, and then, then we're level funding, we're, which means we're service cutting. Um, there is another choice. Before I forget, yes. let me explain the graph. Yep, go ahead. Okay, so this graph, is, all this represents is, um, I took how much fuel we used in two, 2020, and I looked at what it was costing. So the, I took the first of every month off that fuel index I mentioned that changes daily. <coughs> I took what we use every year and multiplied it times that number and plotted it. Mm -hmm. So the way to the left-hand side is, is at the start of this fiscal. And those are dollars? Those are dollars. Okay. So Thanks. we were we budgeted $80,500. Yep. And today, in today's dollars, if um, in today's market rates, it would have I would have had to budget one hundred twenty-five thousand okay. dollars, and that's just gasoline and diesel. Heating oil has actually gone up a little higher than that. Uh, you only budget. We only budgeted for twenty twenty-two eighty thousand dollars. We put we stuck five hundred in, in snow and ice. Oh, that's true. Five hundred. So how what what are, unless there's a graph here that I didn't see. Usage, what does the usage look like as far as? The usage hasn't changed. So we're, Eggs, we're kind of? Yeah. Okay. It's just the bottom line cost. Okay. We haven't increased vehicles. We haven't increased what we do every day. Um, it's just what it costs to keep trucks and cars and ambulances and stuff on the road. Yeah. So this is covering every vehicle we, the town operates? Yes. Correct. And all the heating. No, no, this graph this is, is just, 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 just fuel. gasoline and diesel. Okay. Heating oil is it's its own beast, and I haven't finished it yet because it's broken up into several accounts. But I can tell you, it's probably a little worse. We'd estimate around sixty thousand. Okay. More. Okay. So, what's your what's your idea? The other idea is the uh, ever popular two and a half over. It. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, no, we we talked about using ARPA money. To cover the gap for now, because yes, the, 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 I'll be frank with you: the money we need to cover all the fuel shortages isn't in any reserve you have. Right? No, we right. don't. That, that's the problem. That's, that's, exactly. that's, that's right. clear. That's, that's exactly. the cold reality. And we <laughs> talked about possibly putting a little bit extra into the ARPA to cover some of the shortages for next year, because we don't think anybody's going to have an answer. But you're looking budget-wise on fuel alone, with no other operational changes at all. A hundred to one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars extra, more than what you already put together, and that's like, that's not any service cuts. That you know, that's nothing. That's that just that means everything stays the same. That's assumed. That means we right. don't have any more 
big fires, structure yeah. fires, where we have to have things running more, you know, a big increase. Number of storms. Yeah, yeah it, it's storms. all that stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. all of that. Could there be some crazy fuel, uh, oil strike in the middle of Mississippi or something, and all of a sudden there's a glut on the market and it drops? Sure, it could happen. Yeah. Doubt it. Well, I read a thing in the paper the other day that said that the, these numbers were going to drop drastically. But who knows? I mean, that's somebody's right. opinion. Right. Right. That's somebody's yep. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Why course. wouldn't you be conservative? <laughs> Correct. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying. I'm yeah. just saying it's. It could be anything, like you just said. It could be oh. anything. So, did I help answer your question? Yes. Uh, and that's you've answered here. mine, but I want to make sure everybody here understands it because. Well, so I understand. So, figure out this year. And maybe there's some ways to be able to do it. Not enough money for next year. Mm -hmm. Not in a way close. Right. We do have some things beyond the fuel that are going to impact whatever it might be. Well, some I think it would be safe to say right now that what you just said, this year and next year, whatever funds are available from, what do you call that? Our, our, our yeah. funds. That, would, that could be put towards this. Obviously, that's what's got to be done if it, if it can I, be done. Ideally, the budget should go up. Has Just for go. fuel alone. It has to go up. All right. But if that, so let's take that as a, as a given. That's a goal, but right. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's realistic. Well, so. Not by so 120. What, what, what's <laughs> the option? If, if it's, let's assume that the, the pricing doesn't change until the end of next year. Eventually, I, it's going to come down. It has to. That's just the way it is. Okay. But you let's assume that it doesn't. You can't park. I have to plow snow. I know that. I understand that. I'm, I'm yeah, I'll do it. I'm, I'm trying, and I'm not suggesting that you don't. What I'm suggesting is that if if that needs to get spent, where's it going to come from? There's nothing left. We can't go to the schools. There's nothing else in the in the government. Right. But oh. I guess what I've said a number of means, and several months ago in that in my email back, you just said if you 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 know if there's no money to plot, but. If there's no money to buy fuel and we don't have the fuel, then you you can't plow. You can't like you yeah, just said. You can't. Move. Well, snow. What I mean, that's kind of a tough one to right. say because you right. can't overspend that one because right. of that. But yeah, but you, it technically, it's not one, a it's not a good answer. Yeah. Because I understand. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, if you have an account that. Right. Is down I, to I zero. Have a truck that's broken. Yep. I don't have money to fix it. I park the truck until right. You can't right. fix it because right. you don't have the money. Right. Unfortunately, yep. but so that's what it comes I, down to. We can close buildings. Well, we can close buildings. There's a right. whole bunch of things so, you can do. Right. But right. I mean, sarcastically, but you're right. We just like this building close down. 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 Uh, Too uh, much that, uh, Why? You can't close a library because it creates issues for people not being able to borrow books anywhere else. Where else well, can I close? So I, I'm sorry, but on but the town hall, the okay. town annex, the public safety building. I mean, don't close the town hall because that's where the assessor is housed, and that, <laughs> that makes all this work. <laughs> right, but I, I understand what you're saying. You were saying that you can't close, but if you don't have any money there, you you, you got to do it. I mean, people are going to be coming in in the cold if they if we don't close it down. The other thing I, I want to comment. And I, I want everyone here, and it never comes out. Um, Rutland's a green, green community. And if there's a grant we could take advantage of to seal a door, seal a garage, change out lights to make it more efficient, come up with a way to heat a building more efficiently, we've done it. Oh, you guys all do it. Yeah. Every okay. single one of you department um, heads are always looking for free money. If, so don't, I just want to call that out. Well, so I, we've well, been very, very aggressive about being right. conservative no and trying right. to save that, shave that nickel. I right. just, but the public's watching and they never right. hear that, right. you know. And, and, and that's that's very true. But then the question is going to be: the public's going to have to decide on how this gets handled when we get to the town meeting. Oh no, we're going to have to decide it and then well, do I, several I, different no, iterations and, and the of it. problem with the town meeting coming up in a few, we're only a couple weeks away here. Right, we, right. This. Some of this stuff is not going to be able to be, be able to be done in two weeks or three weeks. Now, on the public work side, we already took one hundred thirty thousand dollars out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, fuel is down from what it was in FY nineteen. We've actually dropped it. It's actually been cut, not just level funded. It's been cut. Yeah. It was eighty three five in twenty nineteen. It's eighty thousand five hundred dollars now. Um, it was higher over the last, it, it's just... So, it, so the question is still going to be, this question is always going to be, I mean, I understand... Well, no, but do you understand my point? 
they, it, it's okay. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I wholeheartedly agree with you all. Right. Just the reality is, it also hasn't moved. That number has not moved. Right. No, no, no. no. Again, that's not the point oh. that I'm making. The point is that there has to be, there's no spigot here. This thing is running wide open. Mm -hmm. The money is drawing out. That is. And then the question, so the question is, how do you manage that? And if, I mean, we have to find, I mean, theoretically, we would find a larger spigot by about two and a half percent, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that traditionally doesn't really work. So how, I mean, what happens? What, when we, when you say we sh we're going to have to deal with that, where is it going to come from? I mean, we're, we're going to give it back and say, here you go, guys, figure it out? Well, we don't wait till the town meeting floor to make these calls because um, if we're playing, juggling around with numbers on the town meeting floor, yeah. an already too long meeting is going to go even longer. Right. No, I understand that. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, yeah. No. We have to have it ready to go. Uh, yeah. So, obviously, you have to set the warrant. Yep. by next Thursday night and it's posted for t two weeks prior to town meeting so yep. it'll be posted next Friday mm -hmm. so we, we really have a week window here to really resolve some of these issues we have as there's seven of us on the opera committee that deals with projects and proposing projects mm -hmm. with the selectmen for spending opera funds uh, the federal dollars um, Tuesday night at the board of selectmen's meeting they will vote a, a set a dollar amount for energy costs for this fiscal year and whether they anticipate or look further into next year that's their decision i think our goal is to let's deal with this year first and if they want to put money aside for next year's fuel costs even better but we need to address that when i you have um, suggested that yep and so they, they, mm -hmm. they, there's a potential vote out there that yes. may resolve some of this yep. mm -hmm. i also when the submissions for articles for town meeting i put a placeholder article um, to take funds from available source, free cash, stabilization, to um, cover energy costs in various line items in the town. So if they voted down on Monday, there is a placeholder, on Tuesday, there is a placeholder article whether you meeting. vote okay. to go out of free cash or stabilization. Okay. But there's probably not going to be enough free cash to handle this big of a number <laughs> no. in deal with snow and ice. Okay. So th there is, we have some mechanisms in place that, mm -hmm. depending on how votes go in the next couple of days, can we address take, some yeah. of these. We have, we put stuff in place. Um, you know, so we're working very hard to address yes. some of these things right. yeah. and make the decision amongst your board and the, and the select board. I, so I do think we can probably add some funds to the fuel. I'm not, it's nowhere near what we're going to need, but we could probably increase it somewhat because we did have some unanticipated decreases. Okay. So there might be some that we can add. Uh, uh, by no means is it going to be enough, but it's going right. to be better than it was. I understand. So and don't forget you have to add trash next year, too. The other thing I want to add add trash? Yeah. <coughs> what do you mean? We have trash. No, we don't. No, we don't. The new. The new budget, that's not enough for the for this new? For next year? Yeah. Unless you put money in it, additional money in it. We have waste disposal of $8,000. No, it's going to go up by 6000 more. Okay. Please. 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 <laughs> so, so now we don't have as much for... And the, the only thing is, I just want, uh, as bids come in over time and... And as we chug through the next fiscal year, just be cognizant of the fact that the fuel and energy costs drive most other do most other sure. purchases in sure. some way or form. It may be subtle, it's a penny here, a dollar here, but it'll drive a lot of other costs. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't just call right, it out. Right. And depending on how the vote goes Tuesday and how they want to handle the energy stuff, I may not need to ask for a reserve fund transfer that I had sent you the information. For that 21? For. Yes. So that may free up that completely for other smaller things. 17. The yes. That's, seven, all, that's all you have is 17. Right. I, I know Carrie's looking for an elevator fix here. Yes. You know, so you may be able to address some of those okay. things if I'm not going to come okay. forward with that. So, yeah. and so that's a positive what, as well. Similar to what Seth said, if I had to cover the fuel gap, we could do it with a snow and ice deficit. Yeah. I don't want to. So, well, like the, even if you had that, even if we had that 21, right. I mean, that doesn't amount to a 
No, well, I can't well, say yes, where I would have been. It doesn't exactly. amount to <laughs> right. much for the e taking care of the yeah. just fuel and deep gas and diesel. I mean, right. it just, it's like nothing. Yeah. Yep. Let's look okay. at Snow and Ice just briefly. It's a similar situation. Okay. So we, um, we instituted a brine program and yep. we cut our salt use right by 15%. Oh, that's great. It is. But great. the cost of salt went up 26%. Right. Oh, that's great. <laughs> And I can't beat that. I can't, I, you what know. is the deficit at this point? I, I don't know. 237 is what we're around here? 240, 242. How about 241, 229? You, so you knew the answer. 224.2069. No, it's gone up. Is that when you talked to me? Um, the 241, 224.69 is what we have in free cash. Okay. Yeah, it's probably all of that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, so there's a 241, 224, 69 yeah. is what we have in free catch. Yeah. Even if you add the 21 to that, we got right. nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and we can't spend that 17. The 17 would have to float as free cash to be spent yeah. next. Yeah. I, um, okay. I want to make sure. I so, oh, no, it's all about Ted's got a question he wants to ask. Go ahead. Absolutely. So, if I understand what you were saying, Tuesday night, there will be a vote that could solve this year's fuel problem. Correct. And Correct. you have put that number at $32,000? Is that how I read, no, is that that how I read this? No, that's just for a portion of the cost. So, two quick things. The way the, we got money from the Fed, and the structure is very simple. There's an ARPA committee. Okay, um, I sit on the ARPA committee, so that's what we make recommendations, and, and if the board or if that group from that committee votes it, it goes on to the select board. If they f voted favorably, we're allowed to use those ARPA funds for a project. So like, I put a water main in Palm Augusta. The board voted for it, it went to the select board, they voted, voted on it, and it went forward. We're probably gonna ask them for close to $160,000 to cover fuel shortages for this year and a portion of next year. See, the problem is those are reoccurring expenses. They're, Correct. Exactly, yep, which absolutely. is why we're here. Yep. Okay, so out of that 160? That's conservative, yeah. No, for this year. So yeah, what's going to cover this year, though? Out of that, what, for we, what? I, I haven't tallied all the shortages for fuel oil. Yeah. I don't know yet. Well, there was okay. some number that we, we had floating around in the last couple of meetings for this year. It's in one of the emails. Yeah. No, I know. I just didn't know if we... Well, I, I haven't committed it to memory. I'm no, I know, but I The only one we put pen to paper on for sure is the fuel. I thought I remember a number of 65,000 or something because we were saying the other number was 85. Yeah, that was, I think that yeah, was, that for, was I think that was for fuel, not yeah. for he yeah. heating. Yeah. That was right. just, just for right. the right. Yeah, okay. So yeah. 30 for this okay. and 30 for next year, right. assuming you couldn't adjust the budget. Right. So I have one question. That has nothing to do with fuel. Yeah. So the waste disposal that we have to add yeah. the six thousand to, would that be the 001433 account? Is that a DPW account? Let me look. I gotta see this. I can't. I gotta see the whole unit number. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's all I number I got. Oh, oh, one four three three fifty two hundred. Sorry. I think mine. Can I borrow this place? Certainly help yourself. I do. Yes. Don't go to any websites you're not supposed to go to. <laughs> it's my computer. I wouldn't even know where to look. <laughs> of course, in the like rubbish, they they're going to start tacking on diesel uh, diesel right. fuel right. Uh, surcharge extra fee, surcharge yeah. fees because they're getting whacked. So it's 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 a Which snowball. Is what I just no question said. about it. Yeah. Okay, council and aging out. I just want to make sure I'm adding it to the right account. Yeah, and I hit a button. I lost my place, so bear with me, please. That's okay. Yeah, yeah it's um, 001 433 5200. Purchase services for waste disposal. Perfect. I see. Yep. So that's that's the right place because yep. that's. I just want to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. I put the note there so we can have that. So that's. I'll make. So. I think we should have no issue with that. I'll let you know. But uh, once we go through everything, I think we can cover that. We can. There's some. The some stuff that have come our way, so that's kind of good. So, uh, we want the lottery expenses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mr. Shaw, yeah. yes, sir. To answer your question, um, 
We said we needed roughly 30000 to buy gasoline and diesel for the rest of the year based on the previous year's usages and what it costs right now. Oh, okay, yeah. And then if you figuring that you were not going to be able to adjust the budget accordingly for the next fiscal, we would ask for an additional thirty-five to cover the gap. Okay. Okay. We have not formally figured out all of the fuel oil shortages, but we would estimate somewhere between forty and 50000 this year. So that's where that other hundred comes from. So 40 or 50 for this year, 40 or 50 for next year. And that gives you the total of 165. Did I get that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, fuel oil, I, it's, it's not in the, so uh, gasoline and diesel is one dedicated account. Fuel oil is split between probably 10. Yep. Yeah. It's a little trickier to figure out. <coughs> and does that number of 100 something you just mentioned cover everything? All buildings, yeah. all, all vehicles. All no, 165. Is all buildings, all vehicles? All vehicles, yes. Mm -hmm. 165? Yeah. 165. For two, for two years. What that would be is oh, the remainder years. of this year. Yeah. Not two, no, two years. The remainder the of right, this year yes. and then a portion yeah. of next year. We don't know what the market's going to be. Right, the exactly. market could just no stop and fuel could be cheap again. Right. We right. don't know. Right. right. We can hold. Yeah. Right. We can hold, but right, you don't know. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. But th then it, it buys the town. Time. time to yep. figure out because come fall town meeting we'll have a, a true new growth number we'll we'll have better you know state numbers all that stuff so if there's ways to raise and appropriate our yep. own funds we can yep. you know put that money aside yep. for those purposes without and professionally do we think we need to do an override to address market conditions yes but can we do it in time for this town meeting probably not well it right. would have it we right. it's too late now to put it on the ballot correct right. yeah. it's already too yeah. late so we'd have to do it as a special yeah. but we've done that plenty of times in the past so we're just trying to plug the holes well but we, we're starting to get so many holes in the so, stake at this point i mean we've got We've got the town administrator's position that's going to be putting a little bit of a drain. Okay. And then the, the fuel is putting a drain. And we're not even into next year at this point. It just seems like every time we turn around, there's another, somebody's poking a hole in the dike. So could I ask that by the next Tuesday or Wednesday, could I ask for the snow and ice deficit number? Okay. Oh, shoot. You can you ask. You can have it tomorrow. Okay, I didn't want to push you for tomorrow. As long as we don't get any more snow and ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we plowed snow and or salted town roads on April 19th a year ago. Yes. So, so why would you ask me? Okay. I'm asking you now just so we have an just idea, have yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Year to date. <laughs> I'm just. that number. You know, we tracked it. I figured, but I didn't want to pressure you for Friday. I wanted to make sure I gave and you adequate time. You have other things to do. Can you tell, can, for the benefit of the group, how much we kicked up snow and ice by sucking money out of other DPW accounts and Joe, we're still in the hole? It, it was the 17th, by the way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, last, so, oh, yeah. See how much we added? Yeah, we were at 2021, we were at 164. At twenty uh, twenty two, we went to two twelve, and we took a lot of money out of other people. I, I know, to do yeah, it, you guys, so yeah. I just we tried, but you, we're not there yet. No, but we're better than we were. Yeah, gotta just take baby steps. Lots of them. Gotta look at the small positives because that's all we get here. All there is. <laughs> um. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions on the fuel mm -hmm. concerns? So that yeah, these gentlemen can go home and see their families. Don't go there. <laughs> How's the water? <laughs> Sensitive subject. Okay. Can these Coming gentlemen the go? Tap. Can these gentlemen go home and see their families? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, for thank you very much, Absolutely. gentlemen. Yeah. As we're travels. going through, as we're going through everything, we'll uh, yeah. let you know. Okay. Promise. Thank you very Good much for joining you. us. Um, Thanks, I, guys. Thank you. I have copies of those contracts. If you want to look at anything for the fixed stuff or in the future, we can talk about it. Okay. I don't. Does anyone want to read the contracts? No. no. We take. Very exciting. Yeah, yes. Sure thank you very much. Good for insomnia. Yeah. I, I <laughs> don't forget your keys, Steve. Joe. I will not forget my keys. Um, <laughs> I won't be going too far. <laughs> good night, guys. Good night. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Have a happy you holiday. Too. Yeah. You yeah. Thank too. You too. Is that somebody's jacket over there? Mine. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. So, you'll be able to get in the kind of drive, but it'll be cold as hell. I'll keep them up at night. Yeah. Turn the heater on. Okay.
You can't do much on the fuel. Okay. So, that's fuel, guys. And now you heard approximately what we have in snow and ice deficit. What was it? Sorry, I missed it. Um, it's going to be right about the amount of this, of the free cash, maybe over the amount of free cash. It's about quarter million. 241, 224. That's about a quarter million. Okay. Two, you said 241, right? 241, 224, yeah. 69. Which round? Approximately. To, to a quarter million. Okay. Um, so, what do we do now? Okay, well. Make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I passed out, I handed out the budget to everyone. I emailed it out so everyone's got a copy of it electronically. Mm -hmm. um, Pete. Pete, Pete or Peter? I'm sorry. I work Pete, with Pete. Pete's fine. Okay. I answer the hey you. I work with gentlemen who prefer Peter, and I work with a guy who prefers Pete. So I just I'm like. No, Pete is fine. <laughs> There's a lot of them. No, hey, like hey you. Name. Hey you. See. <laughs> so, what? Tom, what? What? So, <laughs> Pete found some errors in the budget that I'm going to go back and fix, and then I'll email it out, just so we all have it. It looks like we have a. Small, small, small. Getting small. Um, extra. Okay. So we'll be able to put, but like we we discussed putting more money into the reserve fund. Yeah. We have the now we have the six thousand, so that's coming out. So the six thousand because we're gonna have, we're gonna have to pay for that one way or the other. So we might right. as well just put it in. Um, so next week, I just heard tonight that the select board would like to have a joint meeting to place the warrants. They waited to the absolute last possible date to do it. We will need to place them because it has to be posted by next Friday. Okay. And they want to do this when? Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next okay. Thursday. Okay. Is that acceptable to everybody? Hey, I'm mm -hmm. scheduled. I am working to try to find out when the backup detail will be available and as soon as I find that out I will let you guys all know um, I know I myself like to get it ahead of time so I can read through it so I can have intelligent questions and whatnot um, I asked Peter Crane today for a summary of what changes to the bylaws and it is on the bylaw subcommittee page on the town website so if everyone wants to look there because the warrant articles are very general so you're gonna have to the warrant articles are just as posted as posted you know that kind of stuff so if you're looking for a substitute you gotta look on the website well so how well, many are there yeah six chapters six chapters yeah so how many how much detail is going to be in the warrant just the, as posted yeah. And are the people in the audience going to be carrying the as posted with them? I don't know. No, they'll get it when they walk in the door if they get it. I mean, six chapters is going to be a book. Mm -hmm. Half a book. It's anyway. a lot of paper if it gets printed out. And then, and then, let's assume that they do have a book or half a book. And they bring it in and they have a question. Um, someone will come to the microphone and say chapter three, section two, item A says, and I don't think that that's right. And it'll get into a conversation at some point, you know, which is the way that these things would go. Mm -hmm. um, but is the that means that the rest of the audience, the, the town meeting. I don't know what we're handing out. Okay. I don't know what's going to be there. Right. I'm saying that for our discussion for the warrants, yep. I would urge you to please go on to the ad hoc bylaw subcommittee mm -hmm. and look at their thing so that you are prepared if you would like to be for next week's meeting. Okay. Because I saw the backup that was handed to the town administrator, and it is one page. Really? And then... How can you expect people to vote on that? So I'm letting you know. It's not nearly... <coughs> Got it. So I'm saying... I know myself, I have to go back and read it. I'm asking if okay. you guys want, that's where it is. Okay. Um, other than that, I don't know what we're going to give out at the town meeting. Um, 
think that was pretty much everything we had to discuss. So next week will be discussions on the warrants because that's all we'll have time for. Okay. And when you say discussion on the warrant, that includes these bylaw changes? And is so this will be the joint meeting where they we discuss what it is and then they place it and we vote on it. You know, so right then and there or we vote on it. Right then and there. Yeah, we're gonna rec recommend to approve. And if we don't if we need more information, we can ask for more information, but we won't have that information. But they'll be placing the they have to place the warrant articles right. on Thursday because it has to be posted on Friday. Do we know how many warrant articles there A are? A lot. Oh. Well, so is each all right. So there's six chapters. Is each chapter a, an article? I, don't know. Okay. I did not spend any time looking through the amount of papers that there were. I asked where the backup was because I I like the backup to be in my hand so that I can read through it. Mm -hmm. so I asked. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So we will be making a recommendation on those. Yeah. Yes. Or we don't make a recommendation because we have more questions. Either way, they can still place the warrant article without us giving a recommendation. Right. But what, what it's supposed to be is it's supposed to be so that we're not button heads with the select board at the town meeting where they've placed something and we're dead set against it. So theoretically, the warrants could go to the ad hoc bylaw, new bylaws, could go to town meeting and nothing could happen with them. Correct. And we revisit we could the take, thing again. We could take no action. Yep. No. no action, as we discussed last year, is also what we may say when we just really don't have an opinion or, and it's not necessarily, <clears throat> so we don't, don't vote on it, it's just that we don't. Well, last year was, well, there was a, bio, there was a, uh, a board, planning board or something that was looking at something, there was an article in the bar, and we took no action because they hadn't met. Mm -hmm. So that was, a, there was a reason for that particular thing. But if we don't know, if we don't, if we don't have enough information or answers about the, the content of We the have article, three weeks. If we don't have, we do not need to make recommendations by next Thursday. Okay. So there. We don't have to make recommendations until right before the meeting starts. Okay. Right, but, okay, before I say that, one step backwards, but I really, what, what Ted was just saying, that was my point when I spoke about this at a number of our meetings is, when we say we recommend no action, the, the, the perception and the view is that we're saying don't do this because right. we're saying no to it. When that may not, may not be the case, we may not have had a chance to review it. We may not have had all the information we'd like to look at to make a recommendation to the townspeople. Right. So that, to me, is, and I know some advice came from town council. I still don't agree with it. I don't, I don't think that's the only two options we got. That's my personal favorable, opinion. Unfavorable and no action, which means... Right. It, that it can come back because depending I, I, so like certain bylaws and stuff like that if you take no action it can come back again if you vote it down it has to wait two years so depending upon certain things for I don't disagree board. with you that we understand that and the people that are doing but the town the people that are out there when we say no action they the perception is you don't want to do it well but we're not recommending no action we're just saying we had we took no action right no we, that's our recommendation we recommend was to the take town no take action. no action we, we are recommending that the town no take action. no action okay now what was the what was the other thing that you favorable. said favorable unfavorable no no okay off that no the next thing was you were just saying something I was... lauren can always get up and speak oh, to I know. She can always get up and speak to what no action means if okay. anyone okay. has any questions. So the second thing was, going, again, Ted, you said, which you, my point was, Thursday night, the whole idea, I'm assuming that us meeting together as two groups, we're reviewing these things saying, in general, we're, we would probably be in favor of whatever the item is, mm -hmm. along with the select board upon the warrant. Not that we... 
I understand what you just said. We don't have to make a recommendation till the town meeting floor, but we're kind of coming to some kind of agreement next Thursday night so that we don't have that. And That's I'm just said. using a number. So, that we're not, See, so we're that, not fighting right, with each other. But then we don't want seven or eight things on there saying, his, his, these warrant, and well, we recommend no action because of this. Or we recommend no. I agree. It just looks, it doesn't. I, I'm in full agreement on that. However, if we have any questions next week, they have to place the warrants by, they have to place everything. I understand, but, everything. So, but I'm trying to answer what, what part of what Ted was asking was, we really should kind of know what we're talk, not talking about, but we kind of have to really be in, in coordination next Thursday night to really make some sense out of whatever articles we're going to put on the warrant. Well, which has, which? Selectman put them on the warrant. And, and I said this at a couple of meetings ago, and I've said it a couple of times, I read the paper, and there were other towns a month and a half, two months ago, they had a public hearing on the articles for the town meeting warrant so the townspeople could go over them with the finance board, with the select board, before the warrant was posted, and, and they're two months or plus ahead of their town meeting. So you're not having this rush at the last possible like you just said the last possible date that it can be done mm -hmm. but I, I, how do you prevent that million. though we we well, can't say it they also had they all, we I've also seen it published for the for the budget they have the budget two and a half three months ahead here's the next fiscal year budget so that we can just we townspeople can ask questions about it before we get way over here and when's the last Those are second. towns with money well, and well, they're doing it further. That. They're doing it farther ahead of us as well, which means that they're not they're not uh, getting as much data as we would get, because no. we're getting it more based upon what people are doing today. No, no, <laughs> it's these towns have money, so when they're doing it, they can base it upon certain things, and their oh. budgets fall a lot easier. Oh, I see. We're doing every nickel down right to every nickel. Okay. So we oh, have to wait for the last possible second to get the last possible yeah, well, information. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I definitely do not agree with that, but, no. but that, that's my that's yep. my opinion. So. I, I mean, our guys start with the budgets in November, yeah. December, yeah. and I mean, and we should be, we should know where we're at long before what we're doing right now. We should be able to meet with them. The, this isn't this isn't new rocket science that's happened in town meeting budgets. It's gone on for hundreds of years ahead. You know what's going to happen in the next year, several months ahead. You don't know just the week before the town meeting. Okay. Well, we so, know for next year we're in trouble already, that we, we, we could come up with numbers for the next budget and be pretty accurate. So, so this article, this warrant, is going to have more than just a couple of lines of the budget that we're working on now. And the, the uh, bylaws. It's going to have other stuff. Oh yeah. Yes, when are we going to get to know what that other stuff is? <laughs> that's what I'm waiting to see where the bu where the backup's going to come, because right. okay. that's the whole thing. Okay. That's it, that's I've been asking that question. Where's the backup? Where's the backup? Where's the backup? I started asking last week. Because yeah. okay. I'm because that's the stuff that you need to be able to oh, read yeah. through to be yeah. not that night when we're all looking right. going what 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 what, what? and it's I getting. Like, and my late. point is. Do you think these the the various departments have didn't know that there were articles out there? Three, four, five, six months ago, that they're going to ask in his next no, I think they time for right. So there's going to be a list somewhere of information or something that could be looked at way ahead to start you understanding know, what it is and understanding how it could be as funded. As soon as I know when the backup will be available. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I, I, I just. I'm just trying. Just I get it. I'm just trying to move this along. We right. can debate. So maybe in general. So wouldn't it come under the direction of the town administrator, whoever that would be at that point? Maybe the new one will. Who says to the department heads, "I need your budget by November 1st. Uh, we can debate all of that. Yeah. In the end, that I, I mean, we can bring up all of that when we get somebody new, and we can throw it all out there. We've done it early with Margaret and it was came down the last minute because when you budget like we do it's tough yeah well and your point is well taken if you got a community that has a lot of money 
Well, kids with the budget is. Put it well, in there. They're going to put it in they, they have more funds available right. to them so that they're less concerned with right. going down Finding to... Finding out where it goes. Right. It just and most of those towns are not in a regional school district. Yeah. No. Okay. So, uh, I mean, that's a good chunk of our budget, and we usually don't get that until late. Yeah. I don't believe we got that until f somewhere in February. Right. So, right. you know. Okay. Um, being 58% uh, of the budget-ish. Exactly. A big chunk. So, um, does anyone have anything else for this evening to go over, to discuss? Nope. nope. Just, um, this, is, this is the backup from what the, the ladies are in the other night. Yes. Okay. I wanted you to have it printed yep. out. Absolutely. Yep. So, is Darren on? Uh, he is not. He's in California. So, we can't, we can't leave. <laughs> I'm going to relinquish that to you. Okay. I, I spoke with Darren last night. He said it was okay it, right? for Pete to do uh, it. So uh, go ahead. I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> a second. Ah, there we go. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're capable. Okay, we are adjourned we are at 6.58.